Welcome back to the dysfunction that is my life and this channel. I don't know the best way to segue into the life update, but I will start with an update on my hand. So I am okay now. However, it reached the 10 day mark. I still hadn't heard from a surgeon or anyone and I still had stitches in my hand and it wasn't looking great. It was looking absolutely fine up until about day nine. Things started to really, really, really hurt. I ended up actually getting an infection, so I was back in the ER. I was given antibiotics for a week and I'm doing totally fine now, but it was the worst experience ever and I never want to experience anything like that again. I am just happy that everything is totally fine. Um, I also got information that my nerves will probably be coming back and I've been kind of feeling that. It feels a little bit like your hands asleep, but it's also on fire. That's the nerves, I guess, trying to kind of come back. She said probably six to eight weeks before it fully comes back, just kind of try and work it. So enough about my hand, I am fine. I am thinking positively about it all and thank you so much for your positive comments. So it is the weekend of Christmas and Christmas in my family means baking. I know, what? <laughs> Daisy loves it. So today I wanna teach you how I make my peanut butter balls and ginger molasses cookies. They are both the most popular things that I bake I'm sorry, Daisy is playing with a toy next to me and <laughs> I'm playing with her. I wanna take you along with me today to make some peanut butter balls and ginger molasses cookies, so let's go. First, I'm going to start with the ginger cookies. Now, I have everything out and ready to go um, and here is the ingredients to screenshot. Um, ingredients and instructions, have any questions, leave them down in the comments. First, you're gonna get all your ingredients out and you're going to sift together your dry ingredients. And in another bowl, you're going to have your wet ingredients. Now, if you are like me using an automatic mixer, I usually only go up to three when I'm doing a dough. Um, and don't forget to use your dough handle. You'll also save your arms so much. Then you're going to gradually mix together the dry and wet ingredients. To make sure that everything is mixed in, always scrape your sides. It makes a huge difference in your dough and you're not gonna miss a thing. You're then gonna use your hands to mold a dough ball that looks like this. Next, you're going to put it in the fridge and it's going to chill for 30 minutes. While your cookie dough ball is chilling, you're going to start the peanut butter balls. Again, if you want to pause and screenshot, here is my peanut butter ball recipe. This one's pretty easy. First, you're going to mix together everything except the Rice Krispies, and then you're going to add the Rice Krispies. And you should have a ball that looks like this. You're then going to put it in the fridge and let it chill for 30 minutes. And then you're going to grab your ginger dough. Next, you're going to take your dough ball and you're going to make it into a bunch of tinier balls. You're going to roll those in sugar and then place them on your pan to bake. When they are rolled, they should look like this and then they turn into these. These are incredibly addictive and they do not last long around family or friends around the holidays. Back to our peanut butter balls. You're going to take the giant ball and turn them into these little ones. Now for my water, I forgot to film it, but I use a kettle, warm that up, and then I use my double pots. Um, I just find it easier to not burn the chocolate. You're then going to take your peanut butter balls and roll them in chocolate. Now everyone's peanut butter balls are going to look different. I add white chocolate and sprinkles to mine, and here is the final result. That's gonna conclude my baking video, my holiday baking video. So I just want to say from our house to yours, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, I hope you're doing well wherever you are, and we'll catch you in the next video guys. Bye!